Well, a triumvirate of teams trying to win the Northwest Conference this season. While it's a fairly rare phenomenon in the NWC, it happens, much like a lunar eclipse or a great parking spot, every once in a while. The last three-way tie for first, 2013. It's happened one other time this century, and the Columbus Grove Bulldogs were involved. They traveled to Bluffton tonight, hoping to clinch at least a share of the title. Student section and fans filing in as we get ready for action from Bluffton. This is Blake Reynolds looking for the open man, throws it, it's intercepted by Baylor Garmatter. Nate Shat now looking for an open man, but it's swatted by Brady Howerstein. I'm not sure what I this, did, is. this is Bluffton, but they are in, uh, not playing Columbus Grove. An Allen East that's an Allen, that's uh, Allen East uh, Bluffton. All right, match up. We'll try and find the real so game we'll, later on. Let's we'll, go to Pauling. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And Crestview at Keyser Field. Crestview on the move as Drew Klein hands off to his running back Brody Brecht. Big run downfield before being brought down. Look at that. Tough to bring down. 33. Then it's Klein. Handing off to Wade Sheets. Where's Wade Sheets? There he is. Finds some room and runs for positive yardage here on the play. Klein will hand off to Brecht again. He gets stopped hard by the Paulding defense. Panthers have had a nice season, but hand off to Brecht again. He finds the end zone for Crestview. Knights in control. Looking for Klein. He keeps it. And he's off to the races. Nice run here for Drew. And the senior signal caller will keep it once again. Finds room downfield. Getting inside the 20, inside the 15 as he slides. Then Klein will keep it. Tripped up by Pauling's Drew Lumpkins here. But we know Drew Klein will find the end zone. He keeps it and runs right around and puts it in. Crestview share, gets at least a share of the Northwest Conference title tonight. Final score of 52. 